On today's video, I'm gonna show you four very cool website effect that you might be inspired for your next web design project. Let's rock and roll. Hey design friends, what is up? My name is Ron Segal. If this is your first time here, welcome to Flux. This is the best place on the internet to learn how to become a designer and make a living as a designer. So make sure you subscribe and you like this video for more videos on design and freelancing. Today, I wanna show you four very cool website effects. These are not necessarily the best designed website I've ever seen, but they have a very cool use of an effect that I think might inspire you on your next project. So with that, let's dive into the first project. So the first one is this vodka brand, and it's a pretty simple website to be honest, but as you scroll in, the text kind of comes in in like a Star Wars style where it's kind of like skewed and it's being joined and then afterwards it's being skewed again and kind of being taken apart. Now this is a, actually a very, very simple effect to create um, with a very basic kind of like CSS, you can skew up the text properties. However, it's very, very cool. And I think also in the context of vodka and kind of like, woo, it gives you this woozy feeling and it kind of skews how you're seeing. And so it is very, um, it is in line with the concept of this brand. And I think again, very, very simple. It doesn't take up a lot of, you know, loading, uh, makes the website, doesn't slow down the website with a, a huge animation or something like this, but it's very, very cool. So the website can stay very, very minimalistic, black and white, but still have this very, very, cool effect. And I think you can play around with the skewing effect of CSS properties to think how you can skew things around on your website when they're sliding in and sliding out. I think this idea can be developed into a very cool other uses. All right, otherwise, pretty simple website. Um, all right, the second website that I wanna show you is for this company called Dala AI, and they have this kind of like brain illustration, which is a bunch of triangles, and they actually react to your mouse. Now, I'm not sure which technologies they use to do this, but this is very, very cool. Now, not only does this kind of like react 3D brains, also if you move it, you kind of see that the camera angle is kind of like moving. What's really, really nice here is once you're starting to scroll down, the, the scene actually changes. So you rotate and then as you scroll, these things kind of like change, it becomes kind of like now you're floating into space. And so this is a very, very creative way to use this effect for like storytelling, right? This is, this uses as like, this is being used as the visuals. This is being used as kind of like something constant that stays and, you know, instead of them going ahead and looking for, you know, just a light bulb icon or a light bulb image from like an image bank, they use the same element, these, this effect of uh, triangles to visualize these things and kind of keep them along throughout the website. I think this is really, really cool. To be honest, I'm not really sure again how they do this, but this is where I love the collaboration between designers and development. This is completely like what I would call creative development and even though here on this channel, we talk a lot about no code tools and how designers can do everything on their own or a lot more on their own. I think this website is a really great example of how when you collaborate with a developer, you can come up with very, very cool effects and cool creation. So I love the output of this website on the Dala website. All right, the next one here is for um, an interior design tool you call Icosa, I guess. Now, they have this very cool effect here, which it looks like there is a diamond here refracting um, and creating kind of a light breaking over the text here. Now, let me load this up for a second, um, just because I'm trying to actually read what's here. So it's, I didn't even get to read it, right? Creator, uh, so actually <laughs> it does from a user, you know, experience perspective, it kind of, uh, makes it very hard to read the actual text, but it is a pretty cool effect because in essence, we don't have anything here. There's no visual here loading. This is basically just the text being refracted, you know, with divs that just show it in different positions. So it creates the feeling of a diamond. Also, I love the detail here of, they're not just changing or refracting the text as white, they're creating these little, tiny kind of like cyan and, and magenta uh, slides 
that you can see on the edges here, which really makes it look like, you know, uh, when a diamond breaks the light, there's these other colors in it. And I feel like they've done it really, really well. So again, the rest of the website, it's cool, but it's pretty, Regular. I mean, we've seen we've seen this in a lot of uh, agency website, but this effect here, I think it's really really minimal, but it's really really nice. Okay, and the last one that I want to show you is this one. This is a website for a company called One, which, if I understand correctly, it's a, a collective of artists, creators, something like this. Now it starts off with a video, but as we scroll down, what's really nice about this is basically there's text here, there's context, but as you scroll down, the website kind of helps you read it, right? So note, everything that is in the center of my screen that I'm looking at is being highlighted, right? So now the first paragraph is highlighted, second paragraph, third paragraph, and as I'm scrolling, the website kind of helps me to read or tells me what to focus on. And now I'm reading on like the first person and the second person and the third person. And you know, now the call to action is being highlighted, which is really nice. I'm scrolling through this area and now there is this, again, they're kind of like, what are we, right? So one is this, one is this. Now, I don't think that you can hear it right now, but as you're scrolling through this, there's also like this tick, 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 tick motion, which gives, make this like tactical, like you're switching like a knob here. And this is really, really great. Again, this is very, very simple. This is, you can very easily do this, you know, change the color of one line based on the scroll position, a very, very simple effect, but it creates such a cool feeling as if you're scrolling through a dial and you have something that is in focus and then you're switching it and switching it and switching it. So I think this is a very, very simple effect, but it's so cool. And you can do so many things based on these ideas that, hey, let's focus the user on you know, the current content that they, we want them to look at, right? Like, let's highlight it. Now, the last cool thing on this website is as you're getting to the end of it, you're like, getting one update, if you keep scrolling, you're actually getting back to the beginning, right? So you're back to the video and then you're you're back to it. So this is kind of like an infinite scroll. This is a long page. When you get to it, you seamlessly get back to the beginning. And I think this is a very, very cool approach. So I really, really love this. I mean, there's almost nothing here, right? Just like text, gray text that turns into black with some like, almost buttons, and sometimes you see images on the side. So simple, like I can build this website in like one hour. So it's not about how difficult it is to create these effects. It's the creativity of thinking, hey, let's do that, which I think is just brilliant and well done for the people who created the one website one is. All right, let me know in the comments below which effect did you found coolest, and if you want us to create maybe a tutorial on how to create one of these things, and as mentioned, make sure you like this video to get more videos on web design, and I will see you on the next video. Peace out.